Hello, I am Pastor Brad Doty coming to you with our daily devotion, Images of God, for Thursday, February 4th. Our theme for today is God is a King. And our reading comes from Psalm 47. Clap your hands, all you nations. Shout to God with cries of joy. For the Lord Most High is awesome, the great King over all the earth. He subdued nations under us, peoples under our feet. He chose our inheritance for us, the pride of Jacob, whom he loved. God has ascended amid shouts of joy, the Lord amid the sounding of trumpets. Sing praises to God, sing praises, sing praises to our King, sing praises. For God is the King of all the earth. Sing to him a psalm of praise. God reigns over nations. God is seated on his holy throne. The nobles of the nations assemble as the people of God, uh, uh, people of the God of Abraham. For the kings of the earth belong to God. He is greatly exalted. Word of God, word of life. Thanks be to God. The Bible, all throughout the Bible, references God as a king of how God reigns over the nations. Jesus came to be a king, not an earthly king who would reign over the people and over the land of the earth, but as our eternal king. And when Jesus was born, he was honored by the wise men, the magi, who came bringing gifts fitted and suited for a king. When Jesus died, he was crowned king of kings. Not the crown that uh, the people thought or were hoping for, but a crown of thorns. The religious leaders uh, were fearful and confused uh, by Jesus and what he was. So they uh, were frightened for their reign. But Jesus did not come to be the king of the earth. He came to be uh, our eternal king, ruling over heaven and earth, not as an earthly king reigns. So how uh, do we consider God to be our king today? Do we come in reverence to God? Do we come uh, hearing and abiding by God and hearing his words? Or do we come as uh, if uh, God was our heavenly king, coming uh, to bringing rain and glory to our lives and to the earth, knowing that uh, when we die, God will reign as king as we then are in God's eternal kingdom, God's heavenly home. So may we see God as king, ruler of our life, ruler of our universe, and may we listen to God and abide and obey him as our king, as even our earthly king, just not the way some of the scribes and Pharisees saw him, but being our God, our heavenly Father. Let us pray. Gracious God, we give you thanks for being our King. Lord, you rule over us and our lives and our nation, and it is wonderful because you are a King that we want, not a King who is full of pride, not a King who is worried about himself or just his nation, but Lord, you worry about us as individuals because you love each and every one of us on our own. You care for us and want what is best for us. Lord, may we see you as our king, and may we let you rule in our lives so that we follow and obey you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord's face shine upon you with grace and mercy. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen. Have a blessed day.